All right, all right, all right. We back for another episode. On this one, we are pushing towards our deadline for the Raider belt drop. It's crazy. A lot of things coming together. Just wanted to uh, take you guys on that ride with us. Let's go. So got the jaws and everything dialed in. Uh, it looks great. Thing, something I don't didn't show is how much it takes to like refine the process. Like a little something as that chamfer has to stop right where that um, part does, and you know you can measure and take it your best educated guess but it doesn't always line up so little tweets like that and chamfers um and and things all over this product uh it just takes some tweaking to do and man i'm back and forth in my computer like a lot but uh we got it dialed in and let me show you all right so this is what we're working with all done Looks freaking amazing. The detail in these the buckles are is unreal. But um yeah now we'll do OT2 and everything's good to go. So All right, we're a couple days in production and it's going great. Got everything uh, dialed in, all the feed speeds, samphers, all the, the stuff that you have to do, but uh, yeah, check it out. Looking good in there, doing some face milling. And this is fresh off the mill. So that was straight off the machine. Um, lots more to do after that. They'll have the branding that's, that's done on the laser and uh, they don't really need to be tumbled. They're just, they're great as is. There's not many sharp edges and stuff, but after we laser them, it will be some like, it's like slag um, from the laser burning the materials. So. We'll tumble them just to kind of smooth everything out and get them uh, prepped for, for anodyne. But uh, yeah, I want to walk you through on how we're going, how I make a laser template using rail draw and just this process of that and setting up the laser. Working on the design covers that go on the belt that will be interchangeable like our wallets. I was going to show you the software and how I kind of do that in the software. Uh, I use Corel Draw. I was not formally educated on this in any way. This is just something I had bought because I had the desire to do like graphic design and stuff like that. And I just 
YouTube, went to YouTube University and just put a lot of hours in on this. And now I'm pretty good at it. Um, I'm no master, but uh, yeah, let me show you. All right, so I I do like a template of my um, art that I have. This is a little bit oversized. And then I come up with the graphics similar to that. Some of them I basically hand draw or some of them I find online, like Shutterstock or whatever. This will be another one, like a topo design. But it starts out, you know, pretty rough, and then you, you, you refine it to, uh, you refine it to the final product. But such a badass software, uh, definitely something you want to know if you want to get into the laser game or, uh, yeah, it's it's a must for laser. I guess you could use some stuff in Photoshop to do that, but Corel Draw is really well known for being uh, what people use to design their laser work with. Uh, it's, it's a solid software and it's pretty cheap, really. So uh, if y'all if y'all want to the graphic design stuff and want to go down that road, look at that one. All right, the mini mill has been wide open on these belts. Uh, the fixture, just simple, simple, you know, soft jaws. It's worked great. Um, we've ran through most of the production on the aluminum. We are going to switch to the brass now. So usually I have these blocks pre-cut. It's for the belt, but uh. I broke out this old saw that's crazy old. Let me show you. Well, it's it's not crazy old, but literally I remember my dad bought this when I was a kid and he ended up giving it to me and I just stuck the the bars of aluminum in there and uh, cutting the material for the belt. And this is my fancy catcher because it don't hit the floor. Pretty cool, right? It's uh, world-class technology. Let's set up the laser to do these right here. Put the branding on it. It's the last step before the tumbling to um, clean just the edges and kind of blend everything together. The machines the machining is great on it. They don't really need to be tumbled, but I always like to tumble things and just, especially after the laser, it leaves like just kind of a, 
like a slag around the logo and it helps clean all that up and it just adds just that extra quality if you ask me. So uh, yeah, let's set this laser up. So one thing I do on my laser and I haven't, I don't, I think I just learned this by mistake because I got tired of actually using uh, the parts to test on. You would get it as close as you could get it and then you would laser it and you'd be like, well, crap, I need to move it over. I need to do this. It ain't right. So I, I had some dicum laying around and I was like, oh, I'll just use that and turn down the power super low where you're just burning the ink off the part. And man, that has been such a hack. Uh, this is red, but if I were you, I would use the blue. The red is, I don't know what the deal is, but it takes more power to burn the red off. The blue works way better, so whenever I replace this, it will be definitely with the blue, but let's set this laser up. So this is our branding. Uh, we'll be using that one. And this is just a general fixture I use for all kinds of things, from the wallet to the... just all kinds of stuff. So I am just... Uh, I haven't really had a chance to design all the tooling from the laser fixtures and all that yet. So that is definitely coming down the road to speed this process up. And, uh, um, you know, maybe we would load four of them at a time to, to speed things up. But yeah, so right now we just line it up in the corner like that right there. And we have our laser right in that pocket, as you can see. And uh, let's hit it, see what happens. Looks great. And I'll try to show you, but it's kind of hard to see. You can't see it, maybe you can, but it just leaves like slag around it. So uh, I like to throw them all in the tumbler and smooth everything up and just blend these edges in and everything. All right, just laser the crap out of these. It was a boatload of them. Let me show you the finished product. All right, this is most of them. They look absolutely amazing. Off to the tumbler, there you go. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this one. And uh, we're gonna get back to work. We got a deadline to meet for that product drop and you know, it's the holiday season. So it's gonna get crazy. And, you know, about the holiday season, if you can support a company doing it here in America, you should. It may be a little more expensive, but it's it's just the right thing to do. And it's the long game and, you know, help, help build our country up versus people that chose the easy route and, you know, doing it overseas. So support those people. It means everything. All right, guys, appreciate y'all. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Let's go.